Hello and welcome to another Smurf P video. And what happens when you get a crazed professor obsessed with his student? That's right, you get clones. This. And just for the record, I'm not here to review these guys. I'm here to review this. Finally, an omnibus that I have waited so long for. Spider-Man Clone Saga Volume 1. And there we can see, you got Spider-Man, Peter Parker, or Ben Riley. Depending, <laughs> Gwen Stacy, who the professor Warren, aka the Jackal, was obsessed with, and if I remember correctly, he ends up being making silly clones of himself. So this omnibus is absolutely huge. You can see there's a side, and I love this. I mean, I had the the complete epics of this this series before. And I was pretty impressed with that. So I really hope this doesn't take forever to complete this series and it's not dragged out like the original story. But there's the covers. Um, in the complete epic, I think it was five, five volumes, they had Ben Riley's little solo story where he was within those five years. I can't seem to see it amongst this lot. So which is cool. Well, it's not cool because I always like that story, but um, it will be in there at some point, I guess. But this is what it collects. So, like all omnibuses, it has a big chunk in it. So, I've taken the slip cover off because it will be easier to review this massive book. And I'm never usually a fan of reviewing books because they are awkward. Especially when, like me, I use my phone to do these things. So it's very difficult. So that's the inside. Let's and move on to the book. Here we have, underneath the slip case, slip case is, is cover, dust cover, whatever you want to call it. Some 90s goodness of Spider-Man and clothes. Oh, there's Venom's massive tooth. Look at that, that's huge. And that is brilliant. And I presume that's perhaps some carnage in there, which is cool. So I'm not going to spend ages going through page and page because, you know, this is absolutely mess. I love this picture. I need this picture. I need it somewhere on my wall somewhere. Writers, pencilers, inkers, colorists, let, uh, letterers, la de la de la. And from what I gather, I read, um, I saw a review about the, the Clone Saga and basically it ended up being a as they called it a disaster and they dragged it out so this is just some intel on what happened and I kind of like that review because it was honest it's our May we love our May so here is the bit with the traveler and I'm looking forward to reading this because he had a big part to play in the first part of Ben Riley and Spider-Man's story peter parker's story at the beginning which was i cool. like the fact that it's kept the covers in it i'm always a fan of keeping covers in these big books sometimes they just take them out to save space uh that's probably about halfway through the book where we start to see this dude kane mark of kane was pretty cool during the storyline where he was basically killing all of um spider-man rivals he wanted um, the true Peter Parker to survive this all, which is cool. Um, I need to read this again because I can't remember what happened. In fact, this book has quite a bit into it because we get to the point where Ben Riley's on the outside and Peter Parker's actually in jail because of what happened during Ben Riley's um, world in his five part series. I can't even remember what it's called. It will come back to me, I'm sure, after I finish this video. At this point, Doc Ock must have been killed because this is his um, wife. And Kane has various dreams about Mary Jane during the whole storyline. There we go, we have Spider-Man escaping. I'll try and go back to some of the, the other issues at the beginning of the story before I finish. Just some random, random stories. Mary Jane... Actually, this book has loads in it. Oh, maybe this is where 
Doc Hawk gets smashed. And here we go. And Jack was back, which is cool. And we have another clone of Gwen Stacy, and I have no idea what happened to this clone. No idea. I really need to keep reading Spider-Man on Marvel Unlimited. And this is quite cool. I like this sort of stuff. I do like the 90s um, artwork. It's pretty cool. So I really hope that we don't have to wait for the other omnibuses that complete this. Maybe there's a, another two. And I hope that they go into the Ben Riley. Uh, this is just all stuff at the back. Which is quite cool. I like this sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time going through it. And then we have Lowdown. And we'll start telling you about their idea. Which um, basically the story ended up taking on a life of its own. And didn't stick to the original plan. Uh, and I think it was meant to end in 400 at some point. We didn't, they dragged it out longer. But I still like the Clone Saga. A lot of people don't, but I like it. It worked for me. Did it work for you? Did you enjoy this series? I like these, some bios on some of the characters. Hey, a bit of Juggernaut. Love me some X-Men. Morbius, I love all these classics. So, and um, that is pretty much it. I'm not going to bore you to death with this. Oh, I'll just show you a couple of pages from... The first few stories as so well. Basically, it starts out with Aunt May's really sick, and Ben Riley, who's believed to be the clone, comes back and to see her. And obviously, he he tries to keep out of Peter's way, but they cross paths, which is cool. And so forth. There's Aunt May. I love some of the artwork in this. I'm gonna finish this. I don't need to go into detail. If you read the clone. Clone Saga, you know what it's about. If you haven't, it's worth a read. Just for the 90s goodness. Oh, I love this story. Right, I'm going to leave it with Ben Riley, a.k.a. The Clone. And I'm sorry if I just ruined the whole story for you. The end. Have a good evening, folks. You know what? I'm a liar. I'm not going to finish it there. Let's have some comparisons. So here it is with... An old graphic there novel. There we go. Guardians of the Galaxy and X-Men. New, all new X-Men. And that story that nobody cares to remember. And here we have it with the Uncanny Avengers uh, Omnibus. Which is, well, you can see it's quite small compared to how beefy this bad boy and is. And next, so one of my favourites is X-Men, the Chris Claremont. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, error. And you can see this. this is absolutely humongous and clearly worth the amount of money it costs absolutely huge look at that it doesn't even come close does it so for me i love this this part of spider-man this was probably when i actually started reading spider-man during the the mid 90s for me this is clearly fantastic the only thing i worry about being a collector is this spine here. It already looks a bit concerning to me. Maybe they made it a little bit too big. So, but time will tell. For now, I'm happy to have it. Happy to have it in my collection. I hope you like it. Tell me if you're going to get it. Tell me if you don't like it. Tell me if you hate Spider-Man, the Clone Saga, and why. But for me, I love this era. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Au revoir. I can't even say that word. Goodbye.